Hi, my name is Eric Marvin. I'm a neurosurgeon at Virginia Tech Curley and Clinic focusing on skull base neurosurgery and cerebrovascular neurosurgery. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about arteriovenous malformations. Arteriovenous malformations or AVMs are essentially a vascular disorder um, involving a what is essentially a tangle of blood vessels in the brain or even in the spinal cord. AVMs can present with a couple of different problems and require very specific and focused neurosurgical care. One of the problems that can present with an AVM, as we call them, uh, could be seizures. Another thing that can present with is a stroke or even a hemorrhage. AVMs can present with uh, catastrophic hemorrhages and can result in a mortality rate of up to 10 to 15 percent. More commonly, AVMs can actually present with neurological deficits such as a stroke. Signs of a stroke can include hemiparesis, which is the medical terms for weakness of an arm or a leg or even speech problems or uh, vision issues. AVMs are often discovered incidentally in today's day and age where MRIs and CAT scans are ordered fairly routinely, we will often discover an AVM based on uh, uh, findings that we weren't looking for. One of the problems with AVMs is trying to determine whether or not they need treatment. The natural history of an AVM in some studies would indicate that the bleed risk is approximately 1% per year. However, when an AVM is discovered after it ruptures, that risk might be certainly um, exceptionally higher. In dealing with an arterial venous malformation, Specialized neurosurgeons that deal with cerebrovascular problems will take one of three options in terms of the treatment algorithm to try to decide which of these types of disorders need to be treated and which don't. The three treatment options involved in treating an AVM includes doing nothing, which is uh, often following these with serial vascular studies to ensure that they don't grow or they don't change, or a combination of embolization where a catheter can be used to inject particles to plug up the AVM to prevent it from rupture. Uh, stereotactic radiosurgery, which is a type of radiation type used to treat the arterial part of this malformation, or even surgery. The benefits of surgery include a, oftentimes a definitive treatment for a uh, vascular malformation that can cause problems in the future. For each and every treatment option though, we have to discuss the risks and the benefits with each of our patients, which we do on an individualized uh, basis. In dealing with the surgical aspects of AVMs, we often consider where the AVM is at and what types of brain tissue could be affected with the treatment and what are the risks of the general neurosurgical procedure in itself. At uh, Virginia Tech Curling Clinic, we treat each patient individually and comprehensively. We work collaboratively with our radiation oncologists as well as our interventional radiologists to provide the ideal uh, treatment options for each patient. In the uh, surgical arena, we have the uh, technology intraoperatively to provide what we feel is the uh, best and safest um, approaches uh, to those patients selected for surgery. I want to talk a little bit about what an AVM is and why it potentially can be dangerous. An arterial venous malformation is essentially an artery that feeds into a essentially tangle of blood vessels and then drains into a vein which comes back into the heart. The problem with an AVM is that you have blood vessels that are receiving a high volume of blood that are not usually um, designed to receive those types of volumes. The uh, workup of arterial venous malformations will often involve CT scans, MR images, as well as angiographic pictures to allow us to define exactly the anatomy of the AVM to essentially decide what is the best treatment option. Occasionally we'll decide that the natural history of the AVM is better left alone and the risks of surgery or intervention may be higher than just watching the AVM without doing anything. Thank you for joining us in this discussion about AVMs. Goodbye.